beat you on the spot. I want you to be like half the girls in his high school class and give it up for Dweezil, Zappa, and Gravy. Yeah. How you guys doing tonight? Okay, let me ask you a question and I want you to answer yes. Are you tired of the same old sitcoms? Yeah. Well, good, because tonight we're going to do something completely different. And when I say we, I mean you. Okay, here's the deal. We only have half a script tonight. But with your help, our cast is going to improvise and make up the rest on the spot. My job is just to hang around here and mess with them from time to time. So when you see me, you know we'll be throwing a few curveballs at them. Oh, yeah, one other thing. When you hear this sound... That means whoever said the last line, they have to make up a completely brand new line on the spot. Now, speaking of lines, somebody give me a line for the first scene. Who's your daddy? I'm losing my hair. I'm losing my hair. What, what was that? Are those your new teeth? Are those your new teeth? Perfect. We're taking it. All right, now, our story begins with Jeff Miller. He's the mailroom boy, and he's just been summoned to the executive offices of his boss, Mr. Henderson. It's right over there. Yes, yes. Must be a party line. I hear a lot of people on this. Yes. Well, here's what I... Ah. Oh, God. Barbara, are those your new teeth? Miller from the mailroom is here. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> come in, come in, come in, come in. Yes, come in, come in. Uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Jeff, yes. How are you? Come on in. Yes, right over here. Jeff, today is your lucky day. How would you like to be an executive? Oh, my God, really? That'd be fantastic. Mm-hmm. But uh, why me? Well, because I think you're smart and you show potential. Well, because I think you show potential and you're smart. <laughs> That means a lot coming from you, sir. And it should. Now, listen, here's your assignment. I want you to go out to Los Angeles. We have an old property out there. It's a hotel. It's called the Sunspot. Not doing very well at all. No profit whatsoever. I want you to go out there and see if you can fix it. And when you get out there, I want you to look up the manager of the hotel. His name is Carl. Okay. That's with a small B. <laughs> see if you can't turn that place around out there for me, okay? You can count on me, sir, or my name isn't Jeff Miller. Oh, you can count on me, sir, or I am not the president of the Olsen Twins fan club. Why don't you go along now, Jeff? I have a janitor out here waiting. He's going to fix up a uh, hostel in Brussels for me. Really? Oh, good. Well, that came between you and I. Why don't you take it? Hey, look over there. Jeff went to the sunspot where he hooked up with Carl, the eccentric hotel manager. Hello, I'm Carl, the eccentric hotel manager. <laughs> Told you. Okay, give me something. Why is Carl eccentric? What is a trait of Carl's that's very eccentric? He thinks he's French. He giggles like a little girl. He giggles like a little girl. <laughs> well, Mr. Henderson has told me a lot about you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Carl. I I'm looking forward to working with you here. <laughs> Listen, uh, I gotta say, this hotel is really amazing. I can see why Henderson likes it so much. Well, let me introduce you to my employees. <laughs> no, Carl. Allow me. And here they are. Employee number one is the assistant manager. She's next in line to run the hotel. And her secret obsession is... Training cats to reenact the Civil War. <laughs> Give it up for Brenda. <laughs> Employee number two is the hotel bartender. He makes the drinks strong and the ladies weak. And his favorite pickup line is... Waffles, anyone? <laughs> So smooth. Give it up for Monty. And last but not least, this third employee is a sassy little sweetie who's the hotel maid. And her hobbies include... Street fighting and ponies. Give it up for Caramel. Employees, say hello to Jeff. 
half an exec from corporate. Hi, Jack. Hi. Nice to meet you all. Meet me in my office in a minute, and I'll give you the grand tour. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Sure is. So, is this everybody? Yeah, the whole staff, except for them. Cece and the professor, our husband and wife, Lounge Jack. They've been performing here for the last 30 years. Well, uh, I have to go talk to Carl in there, but when I'm done, I'd like to hear more about the hotel. Oh, oh so would I, so would I. <laughs> Hey, Carl. 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 Oh, my God, he's dead. Oh, um, uh, what am I going to do? What should he do, you guys? Slap him. Slap him. What should he do? Pretend that he's a bee. Give him CPR. I like that one. Let's give him, give him CPR. Give him CPR? Give him CPR, my friend. It's going to hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt you, Carl. <laughs> okay, he smells dead. He's, he's dead. All right. I've got to call Mr. Henderson. Hello? Mr. Henderson, it's Jeff Miller. What smells? <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead, Jeff. Yes, oh, uh, Jeff. Uh, You'll have to excuse us. We're having a little trouble with the phone line here. It's aching up a bit. What? Oh, Ach line. Aching up a bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, listen. I was the manager, Carl. The manager, Carl? Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's why I'm calling, sir. He just died. I'd. Yes. Carl's <laughs> Ed. <laughs> Look at Harry, I'm that hotel out there, and I want you to take over. You want me to take over? How'd you know I said that? I, uh, yeah. it's, it's in the script. Okay. That's exactly what I want you to do. Well, I, I can't take over, sir. I don't know anything about running a hotel. Oh, no. Ellie, for <laughs> uh, Listen, the one in Orkney knew it. I'm working in a mail room. Today I'm running a hotel. This is the worst day of my life. This is the best day of my life. This is an average day in my life. Fourth floor, women's lingerie. Half written, and you help us make up the rest. Sir, could I ask you to stand up for a second, please? Right here. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> now, when we last left, Carl had just died. The staff was brokenhearted. And then they moved on. <laughs> Mr. Henderson had put Jeff in charge of the hotel, so off he went to the hotel lounge. that you enjoyed our tribute to Death Row Records as much as we did. Yes. Should night has touched us all. He certainly has touched me. A few times. <laughs> oh, oh, it's been fun, though. Oh, we are Fifi. And the professor. And the sunspot room's hip-hop hoedown continues with this musical question. Say, Fifi. <laughs> I wish that you'd turn up the air conditioning in here. Goodbye! Because it's getting hot in here. So hot! Take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot, I want to take my clothes off. And a little bit of hot, hot. And a little bit of ah, ah. <laughs> most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. It's no wonder the hotel is losing money, you guys. My first job as manager, I have to get them to improve that act. All right, guys, what should they do to improve their act? What's that? Have fly girls. That's a good idea. They should have fly girls. 
Hi, um, I'm Jeff Miller. I'm the new manager of the hotel. Nice package. Hell. <laughs> Don't mind him. Hello, Jeff Miller. Listen, I was thinking, I just saw the show. Maybe you guys could liven the act up a little bit if you added some fly girls. Ah, oh, interesting. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, baby, I'm yeah. up. Okay. We quit. Hey, hold. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda, shh. <laughs> oh! Listen, no one's ever going to know they're gone. <laughs> nice work, genius. This place is deserted. And to make things worse, I think we have a cricket problem. <laughs> the show. Now, when we last left, Jeff was in big trouble because the hotel stars, Fifi and the professor, had just quit. <laughs> so Jeff decided to hold a series of auditions and try to replace them. Now, we asked this audience, and they came up with a bunch of act name suggestions, and we put them in this giant comedy patriotic hat. <laughs> Lance and Lindsay, two of our cast members, are over there, and they're going to try to perform these suggestions using whatever props or costumes they can grab backstage. Guys, are you ready over there? You bet. <laughs> All right, and you are ready over here? Yeah! Now let's do this thing. Yo, will you please reach in there and grab a comedy act suggestion? Kentucky Countdown. <laughs> Noisiest mimes. <laughs> Thank you for seeing us! We are the world's noisiest mimes! I'm in a box! <laughs> I'm walking against the wind! Lisa Loeb. You say... Next! <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but not one of those acts was better than Fifi and the Professor. Mr. Henderson just called, and he said he's coming down here to check up on you. What? Oh, my God, that is so sweet. <laughs> well, that's perfect. When Henderson sees that there are no guests in this hotel and that I've turned the whole place into a ghost town, it's going to be all over. Then I guess I'll have to take over as manager. No, Brenda, I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about everybody. He's going to fire everybody. Even the crickets are going to be printing out resumes. <laughs> but you're the one who screwed up. Me? What about the fly girl woman? <laughs> Listen, you gotta help me. You have to help me get Fifi and the professor back. What's in it for me? 
I will have Henderson make you the manager when he comes. Why should I believe you? Well, would you believe him if he sang it to you in a song? I just might, Chip. I just might. Okay, then. All right, give me a style of music. Give me a type of music. What? I got my suggestion. These people would like to hear some gangster rap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got the flavor. I got the flavor. Come on. Check it out. I'm gonna have a how you, yeah, because you're the managing cutie. I'd like to take you upstairs and manage that booty. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you like the way I'm playing? Yo, so, baby, come out here. Let me see you shake that booty, girl. Let me see you shake the booty. While I get busy on the turntable. <laughs> Meet me in the hotel. Yeah. How did they get down here so quick? Oh, didn't I tell you? They live here. Yes, frankly, I was enjoying the break, getting a little sound of my cabal. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Guys, Jeff made a terrible mistake, and he wants you to come back. Ah. Whatever you guys want, whatever it takes. We do not negotiate. Speak to our agent. Your agent? Yes, we were just in a meeting with him. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. <gasps> Mistress Fifi says take off the hood. <laughs> That's not your safe word. <laughs> Swarmy, swarmy talent modeling. You look good. Look, I'm going to need you to... Uh, I'm going to cut right to the chase. My clients are not going to go back on stage until you meet their demands. Yes. Right. Anything they want. Anything. Uh -huh. Okay, why don't we start with the Learjet? Yes. yes. Why don't we start with a bicycle built for 16? Yes. yes. Horse meat. Yes. yes. How about I clear their bar tab? Done. <laughs> So, Fifi and the professor came back, and they managed to pack the lounge and the hotel with guests, just in time for Mr. Henderson's arrival. We'll have to answer right now, just to tell you once again, who's bad? <laughs> that is absolutely wonderful. Oh, Miller, you did it. You, you did it. I've never seen this place so busy, and those two singers, they have never sounded so good. Listen, I smell promotion. Oh. I smell thunder. <laughs> you can't smell thunder. <laughs> Listen, uh, thank you so much. I'm so happy. And also, I have a really great idea for who should take over as manager when I leave. Her name's Brenda. She's sweet. She's friendly. And I'm a really good uh, team player. You're okay, which is why I deserve the promotion. Really? Yeah. Well, all right, then uh, let me just take back what I just said. Uh -huh. I am going to make the permanent manager of this hotel, Jeff. But what about me? No, you can be the assistant manager. Oh, I already am the assistant manager. Well, there you go. Everybody wins, huh? Good one. <laughs> Here's the camera on the eye. Well, there you go. Everybody wins. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. But what is the moral to the story? What did we learn here today? Never ride a bike without a seat. Never ride a bike without a seat. Somebody else, what did we learn? Never go to bed angry. Never go to bed angry. An excellent moral. In fact, it's so good that Fifi and the professor are about to write a little song about it. And it's going to go a little something like this. Don't go to bed angry because it makes me sad. I want to make love to you. And if you won't make love to me, oh. baby, you know I'll sue. Oh, come on. Don't let the sun go. Don't take your 